Hey student teachers, what exactly is fair assessment? This question will most likely boggle your minds when you're first creating your first unit test or some sort of assessment for your students. So today on EduLife, we've brought in an expert. Dr. Jacqueline Layton, who is the department chair for educational psychology, is here today to talk to us about assessment. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to EduLife. Today we have Dr. Jacqueline Layton from the Department of Educational Psychology and she's here today to talk to us about assessment. So Dr. Layton, thank you so much for being on our show. You're welcome. And so first and foremost, big question of the day, what is assessment? Could you give us a broad definition of assessment? Well, assessment can be looked at very statically and it essentially means that um, it's an evaluation of academic performance if you're talking about students. So it's an evaluation or a judgment. But assessment can also be viewed more dynamically as the process of gathering information in order to make an evaluation or a judgment. And what is the difference between um, formative and summative assessment? I know those are very big terms in education. Well, that's a great question. Formative assessment is actually assessment that is done um, during uh, a student's um, classroom term and usually there's not a grade that is assigned mm -hmm. to a formative assessment. Essentially a teacher will provide information about where the student is in terms of their learning mm -hmm. and what are the gaps, if any, between the expected outcome or and where the student is at a present time. So the teacher will give or the instructor will give information to the student about how to reach the goal. Now, summative assessment is different. Summative assessment usually comes at the very end of a classroom term, and there's a grade assigned to the assessment. So the student might get a letter grade or a percentage of you know where the student ranks within the class, like a 25% if it's very, very low, <laughs> a 50 or a 75 or a 100. So Dr. Layton, with the rise in technology and us being in a digital age, how is assessment changing with that? Well, technology is dramatically changing assessments. Um, the environment in which assessments are being administered is changing with technology. So for example, you have stealth assessments mm. w where assessments are being delivered in game-like environments for students, almost like video games, where students are um, showing what they know in terms of complex skills, but the assessment is actually embedded within this technologically enhanced environment. Another way that technology is changing assessment is that it's changing the way that um, assessments are developed. So for example, in the past, teachers and other testing specialists developed the test items, the tasks that students um, worked on in terms of their assessments. But now we are increasingly finding computer algorith algorithms wow. that can help develop the test items and tasks. So in fact, many more test items and tasks can be developed for a fraction of the cost and time. So I've taken a couple of EDPY courses and they were awesome. And um, I know inclusivity is a huge component mm -hmm. of assessment. So how mm -hmm. does that play into assessment? Well, I think that as we learn more and more about the way people learn, what we realize is that not only do people learn differently, people have different learning styles, people have different ways of approaching um, information, mm -hmm. but that assessment also has to reflect that. So assessments have to be sensitive and accommodate the way that people learn because what we really want to do with assessments is actually find out what people understand, what students know, what they have learned, the best way that they are able to apply information in from the classroom what they've learned in the classroom. And so the same way that teachers are always trying to find new and better ways to deliver information and have strong collaborative classrooms, we have to find ways to have assessments also reflect the things that we're learning about how people learn. Wow, that's amazing. You're so inspiring. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's an inspiring topic. It definitely is. And last but not least, where can we find more information on assessment? Well, there are a number of excellent resources. So um, in the U.S., there is the National Council for Measurement in Education. Um, here in Canada, we have, um, well, here in Alberta, we have the Alberta Assessment Consortium. Um, we also have the Canadian Society for Studies in Education. And we also have our very own Center for Research and Applied Measurement and Evaluation here at the University of Alberta. And, of course, we have 
classes at the undergraduate level at, um, at Psych uh, 303. <laughs> and we are looking to hopefully develop uh, classes at the graduate level for classroom assessment. That's wonderful. Well, Dr. Layton, thank you so much for your You're time. Very welcome. Thank you.